and who is ready for what I feel to be a long overdue tea vlog. Do you have your tea? Are you ready to sippy sippy with me? I'll wait. Waiting. Sippy sippy time. <sighs> I do have a tiara in my head right now. I'm sorry. I forgot I was wearing that. Don't ask why I'm wearing a tiara. You will find out one day though. I forgot I had that in. Oopsies. This is my first video on the iPhone 5C. So tell me if you can tell a difference in the quality because there's supposed to be a difference. I'm finally on iOS 7, which everyone told me not to do because they said it was ugly and scary and all that jazz, but I actually really like it. I really like all of the changes. There's lots more noises now that like alert you when you need to charge your phone, when you are charging your phone, all kinds of cool stuff. I like everything about it. Nobody cares about that unless you use an Apple. I don't know. I'm a sucker for Apple products. I'm a sheep. I'm a whatever you want to call me, but I just, I like them. I do. You can't help what you like. Ha, 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 ha. The update though that I don't like is Instagram. I just, I don't want a default circle photo picture. I don't want any of that. No, thank you. I wish there was a way that I could like go back to the last Instagram thing. I don't like how the pictures like fill up the whole frame either. Is anyone else feeling this agony? I don't know. The small things matter. I feel like the sun is setting at an earlier hour now. It's only seven. I feel like fall is approaching, just not in the weather. I can't tell. It's still 900 degrees outside. Oh, look, exercisers, evening exercisers. Can you see them? Oh, there's their heads. Look at them. Look at them. Way to be healthy. Congratulations. I always wanted to say congratulations like Mario. Do you, do you know that? Congratulations. I don't know. I can't do it. Oh, here's another health fitness walker. Hi there. You're doing good. If I could stop being distracted every 5.5 seconds, wouldn't that be a lovely? I had something else to talk to you guys about, actually, like that I posted on Instagram tonight, and tonight is Friday, but the odds that this video is gonna be edited and up by Friday, uh, since it's already seven o'clock at night, is very slim to none. So you're probably watching this on Saturday. Happy Saturday. I've been waiting all week, because if you noticed, there was like a couple days this week where I didn't upload a video, which was a bummer for us all because I really miss you guys when I don't like talk to you every day about some kind of subject matter. I don't know. It makes me sad. A lot of people's channels this week were kind of like glitching and they added a lot of new features, which I think is really cool. I don't know, like the features that they added this time, I really like. And one of the features is like you can go through and like this tab and like see who interacts with your channel the most like who overall like there's different tabs I'm explaining this really poorly it's really new to me too I've only had it for like a couple days so I posted this picture it's still on Facebook but I went through and based on like interactions which is basically like minutes watched and likes favorites shares like all the different things that you can do with my YouTube channel based on the those happy good things I can like accumulate a list like it'll literally put everyone in a list but I thought it would be really really cool to like I've never done shout outs before but I thought it would be really cool to post like here on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and like all the different places that you guys hang out with me I thought it would be cool to do like a top 10 list just as like a thank you a little shout out like a little like fun thing like I thought I would like list the top 10 people who have you know liked and watched and whatever because I don't know I thought it was I thought it was nice like I thought it was like a way that I could give like a little bit of recognition to the 10 people that spent the most time with me that week and like I in like in my head it was like a good thing it was like a friendship shout out like cute kind of thing but I think it like enraged some people and like people took it like a really really 
bad way. Like I totally deleted it off of Instagram, like madness ensued, like all kinds of things that I just don't deal with at all. So I deleted it from there and I was just like, the people of Instagram are not ready for this. Uh, but I thought I would ask you guys because I don't want to make this like a crazy competition thing. Like I don't want people to get like upset about it. Like it's not meaning to be like, oh, these 10 people are like the greatest, pe you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, I just, I don't know. Like, I thought it would be fun. So just based on everyone watching right now, uh, if this sounds like something that you would like to see and you think it would be kind of fun, like every Friday I was going to post everywhere like a little picture, um, just like, hey, top 10 people of the week. Like it, like you don't really win a prize for this. Like it's just like a fun way to like recognize 10 people a week. I don't know. I thought it would be fun. Like I just, uh, but like this video and let me know. I just like, I don't want to upset anybody. That's never my goal. Uh, that's never what I'm trying to do. So I don't know. It just like, there was, there was craziness and I cried a little cause I spent so much time making a beautiful picture all day and then no one liked it. And it was sad. Sad bedtime story. We need a sippy sippy of tea to continue on. Ha. Ah. Anyway, on to more exciting topics. I am getting ready for the Halloween videos and I'm so excited. I hope you guys are really gonna enjoy Vlogoween. Thank y'all so, so much. Everyone who left me a comment and liked the videos. This was like a month or so ago where I was asking if you wanted like a lot of creepy looks or like some cutesy looks or like a good mixture and all the comments suggestions I'm taking some of you guys comments and creating those costume and makeup looks for you guys so basically the structure of October is some days there's probably gonna be like two videos a day um, I'm not I'm probably not gonna do like strictly like a Halloween video every single day like there's gonna be like some normal videos because some people don't care about Halloween I'm still gonna try and keep a good mixture then like some days there'll be two videos like a regular video and a Halloween video just dependent on how much content uh, that I can dream up for October your comments down below about things that you would like to see are always welcome because let's face it I get every idea in my head basically I don't know you guys are the bringers of all of the goodness so any comments and suggestions from you guys are always welcome how about my hair right now that's another awkward conversation we can have finally I feel like my hair is getting less ugly and I feel like a lot of people would disagree with me because normally like chunky roots is not something that people want to see around their faces I never talked about this with you guys but in August right before I went out to LA or maybe it was even July I can't remember my life right now I think it was like end of July, beginning of August. Yeah, because I was there over my birthday. I decided to do something dumb, really dumb. And like, I really liked how my hair was like growing out back to like my natural blonde color around my face because like, I don't know what happened, okay? Like I used to have just like a little bit of like black chunks in the front, like the bang section of my hair. And then like, time after time like the progression it's just like this black dye has just taken over and now I feel like the entire front of my hair is black which was never my vision for my life so now like I had this horrible like the worst salon experience of my life because a lot of the black like was grown out or really faded in the front of my face and like somebody told me that they could take the faded black and turn it blonde it did not turn blonde okay it turned orange and crispy and disgusting and we had to dye it back black and it was just a nightmare and then like on top of all of that like I wanted some layers added back in my hair for volume and I wanted like just the dead ends trimmed off of my hair and I don't have that many dead ends okay and like my hair my hair was so glorious it you do you remember this summer I do uh my hair like went down to like this part of my arm like the longest pieces it was so long and I loved it to death and just craziness like four inches or so got chopped off of my hair I cried 
for like 15 hours straight. My hair was a nightmare. I had to go back to the salon twice and like have some of that orangey part retouched up because they didn't get it all the first time. So I've taken a vow to not cut or dye my hair for a really, really long time. So just get ready for the awkward journey with me. I kind of like it like grown out and kind of like unkempt looking. That's just my life in my mind. I like how that looks on me, like just, it is what it is. I'm a different kind of person. I'm not so much minding it, but like my long-term goal, uh, which you can join along this fabulous journey with me, uh, I'm gonna try and get like most, if not all of like the front part of my hair back blonde. I would never take all of the black out of my hair because I love it too, too much. Um, but I just want like the black more like on the sides and the back just so like when I curl it, it mixes in good. But just like what frames my face, I would rather that be blonde for a while. Wow, I've been talking for 12 minutes about my hair. I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you guys are interested in hair. Anyway, what have you got planned this weekend? Are you doing anything fun? How is school going so far for you? Have you gone to homecoming yet? That is something that you can comment down below and let me know because a lot of people have been requesting for me to do makeup and hair, like tutorial type things of looks that would be good for homecoming. But anytime I'm like on the ex our page of Instagram. I feel like this video has been 90% about Instagram. I'm addicted to Instagram. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, anytime I'm just like up late at night, like scrolling on the explore page, I've already seen a lot of girls posting like homecoming pictures. So I might have like missed that train. Just like I missed prom. I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't like miss prom, but do you you know what I'm saying. That's about it. Uh, I'm gonna run to the mall before it's like just extremely dark outside. I have to return this powder that I got from Dior. Ah, this was like, I, I don't know, something I bought. It, long story. I thought it was like a under eye concealer powder and it's an all over powder. So it's way too light for my face. And I brought it home. And like, I'm one of those compulsive like checkers. Like anytime I go to Sephora or anything, I always take out like the palette or whatever and make sure that it's not broken before I like buy a broken one in the store and then take it home and open it up and cry. And then the one time that I don't do that crazy routine of opening everything up in the store. Uh, I came home and opened this and I didn't drop it. I didn't do anything crazy. And like the whole side of this thing is like cracked and broken. It's just, you can't win for losing. But at least it taught me a lesson to always check in the store before you buy something and take it home and cry. We've been through this crying thing already. I don't know. Also, I got my air conditioner in my car fixed. Isn't that so exciting? So now, like, I can have air conditioning while I talk to you guys, but it doesn't sound like there's, like, a bunch of rats running around in my car. Isn't that great? Such a bonus, Jonas. So sassy. We haven't done the sassy dance in a really, really long time. Do you miss it? I miss it. Sassy, sassy, sassy. So sassy, sassy, sassy. Wasn't that fun? Mmm. Not when you stab yourself in the eyeball with your own hair. Get back there, you. I love you guys so much. I've got a ton of videos for you guys coming up because I had a lot of videos that I didn't get to put out this week because of the craziness. Ooh, look at my nails. You guys will see these several times. I finally found the Impress Halloween nail sets. Ooh, Fitness Walker. Hi there. I think it's the same one. Hello again friend. I found almost all of the Impress sets for Halloween at my grocery store, my HEB. Um, but I think that there's like some sets, like a candy corn one. I haven't been able to find that one yet. Anyway, I love these. They have spiders. This video is so long. I am so sorry. I'm going to leave now. If you're not already, please take a minute to subscribe. Hit that button. Become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, which we've babbled on about during the entirety of this video. Also, at Graveyard Girl, same way it's spelled here. And I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. I forgot we can do slow mo. Slow mo. <laughs>